friend Joy here and welcome to the chickadee. Today I'm going to be trying to lift some of the blue out of my hair. I've been dyeing my hair using a Manic Panics semi-permanent hair dye. This has been mostly rockabilly blue, a little bit of ultraviolet here and there, but I'm wanting to go back to platinum. So I'm actually going to be going in and bleaching my, my roots um, in probably a week or so. But before I do that, I wanted to try to get as much blue out of my hair before bleaching it. Because it's really bad to do a lot of bleaching over already bleached hair. So I'm not going to remove the blue with bleach. I'm going to try a couple other methods first to see if I can get as much of the blue out before I go in to bleach my roots. I was going to grow my roots out and then when it was longer just have bleached tips. But I decided I wanted to go ahead and bleach the whole thing again, um, get my roots done, and then eventually I will switch to doing that and let my roots grow out. All right, so the method that I am using today is one that I've seen quite a bit on YouTube, but I haven't seen too many people with dreadlocks trying it. I mean, there might be them out there, I just haven't seen it. But I want to see how well it works on, on my dreads. My dreads are almost eight months old too, just for back information. The method I'm using today is combining uh, dandruff shampoo. I just got head and shoulders, but any sort of zinc based shampoo will work. Um, dandruff sh shampoo and vitamin C tablets. Make sure just, just to get like plain vitamin C. Don't get anything that has other stuff in it. I've seen videos where people use like emergency packets. There's like a ton of other stuff in emergency, which is great if you have a cold or something and you're trying to boost your immunity, but I'm not sure how that's going to affect your hair. So I found vitamin C tablets is just vitamin C. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind up some vitamin C tablets, combine it with the head and shoulders, apply it over my hair, put a shower cap on, leave it on for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then wash it off. I don't have a ton of time today, so more than likely I will only have it on for maybe even just half an hour. Honestly, i got to get to class today. <laughs> so we'll give that a try. We'll see how that goes. Yes, yeah, so let's go get, get started so we don't waste any time. This might be something that I have to do multiple times in order to get it to work. So the first thing we need to do is turn the vitamin C tablets into powder. I have this little mincer thing. I'm going to try this, although you can just take a hammer and like hammer the tablets. Um, but I am going to try this first. There's not really an exact science, at least that I'm aware of, um, to this formula. So I'm just grabbing a handful of tablets about this much. Um, but in all honesty, I'm not really sure what the optimum amount is. I might have to experiment with this over the next couple weeks to see what works best because more than likely it is going to take a few tries for me to get this right. But for today, this is how many I'm going with. Those in there. Well, that seems to work pretty well. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I might go one more time. I see a few more chunks in there, but I think this is gonna be perfect. So the next thing I'm gonna do is dampen my hair. I'm not going to go ahead and like wash it. I'm just gonna use my spray bottle here, fill it up with some water and wet my hair down real good with that. And then I will mix up the concoction that I'm going to apply into my hair. Now that I'm sufficiently damp, let's go ahead and mix up the concoction. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and empty the powder into a mixing bowl, um, probably a plastic bowl. I don't know if it really makes a difference if you have a metal bowl or not, but just to be safe, I know that a lot of like hair dyes and acidic things can react weird with metal. So it's always safer to get plastic or maybe ceramic if you have ceramic, but you can get these plastic bowls at Sally's or any place that you can buy hair supplies. So get that and then just a spoon, I got a plastic spoon. Um, there are still a few clumps in here. So I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of water to try to dissolve it. I want it to be as fine as possible, although it probably really won't make that much of a difference. I'm just get the water a little warm. I don't want to dilute, dilute it too much, so just a tad. That's all I'm doing. Just a little bit. Okay. Stir that up. It's already starting to bubble a little bit. Does vitamin C react with water? I don't know. I know it's going to react with the zinc shampoo though. Oh, I see the videos I've seen it like foams up. So next, I'm going to open the head and shoulders or any dandruff zinc based shampoo. Squirt a generous amount in there. 
That should be good. Start to stir it. And if it's doing it right, oh, the bowl's spinning, it should start to foam up. Ooh, it smells interesting. I heard this actually could get quite stinky, so we'll see. I might need a little bit more for my own hair. I'm gonna wait till it starts to foam and see how far this goes. Though it's already starting to foam. Yeah, it's getting quite foamy. Hopefully this will be enough. I think it actually smells kind of good. That could just be the scent in the shampoo though. I don't know. It's about how foamy it's getting. Hopefully that's about right. I always take jewelry off anytime I'm doing anything like this. You never know, <laughs> if there's a chemical reaction going on, you never know what's gonna react. So now we're going ahead and we're gonna start applying it. Some people wear gloves. You can do that if you want to. I'm not really that concerned, so I'm not going to wear gloves. I always wear gloves with dye and bleach, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I don't really think this is gonna cause too much of a problem. All right, so let's get to it. You can use an applicator brush if you would like, although I don't tend to do this too often. Uh, I usually will start out with an applicator brush when it comes to my hair, and then I switch over to just using my hands. So in all honesty, I'm probably not gonna use this today. I'm just gonna go straight in with my hands. It's definitely got like almost a gel-like consistency. And you just wanna work it into your hair really good. Here I'm working on my little fringe here. And then once you've got it in your hair, just kind of vigorously massage it. And especially for me with my dreadlocks, I'm sure I'm gonna have to really work it in. And this was definitely plenty of mixture. I'm glad I didn't make any more. I almost have too much. Okay. I'm just gonna keep massaging it for a few minutes. Making sure it's equally covered over all of my hair. All right, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and put my shower cap on and set a timer for probably about 45 minutes. Like I said, I don't know why I'm just starting to do this now. I have to be at class at 11 o'clock. So let's hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll get it done in time. The final step of this will just be to wash it out of my hair. So yeah, I don't think I'll be in too much trouble. All right. Shower cap. You can buy a pack of shower caps at the store for like just a few bucks. Um, or you can just use a plastic bag. But you know, here in California, they actually got rid of the little cheap plastic bags. They actually cost 10 cents per bag at the store. So those are harder to come by actually. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my nice reusable shower cap that I use for like all of my hair dyeing ventures. <laughs> all right, timer. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. I need to be to school at 11. So we are gonna set our timer for half an hour. We'll see, we'll see how well this works, huh? Countdown. All right guys, so it's just been about 25 minutes, a little bit less than 25 minutes. I am gonna go ahead and rinse it all out because I have to get the class. I gotta get class soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it all out. I'm just gonna hop in the shower and wash it out. So I'm probably not gonna show you the after results until after my class today, but that'll be best anyways because then my hair will be dry and you can better see the color and we can compare it a little bit better. Um, it takes forever for my dreadlocks to dry, so this will be for the best anyways. So here we go. Oh, just a note, um, my scalp has been a little bit tingly, which I guess makes sense because there is some sort of a chemical reaction going on between the vitamin C and the zinc, but it's not as bad as like, say when you're bleaching or toning your hair, it's not really that level of stinging. Just be aware that you might feel a little tingling when you do this. All right, into the shower I go. Hey guys, so this is the result of using the head and shoulder shampoo with the vitamin C tablets. Hopefully you guys can see um, some difference there. Obviously my hair is still blue, but it has lightened up quite a bit. There were a couple dreads here in the front that had a lot of saturated blue in them and it has been reduced a lot. And then my fringe here, my bangs um, are significantly lighter. 
So I'm actually really pleased with the results. Here, let's take a closer look here if you can see all these. So I feel like it is a worthwhile method to try. I will probably try it a couple more times before I go ahead and bleach. But yeah, I wanted to show you the result. My side cut. I'm trying to grow my side cut out right now too. I haven't decided if I'm going to continue to cut it or not, but for now I'm letting it go until I get too annoyed with it. But here, here's the results. All right guys, well thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. My channel is still pretty new, so every little bit does count and helps me out a lot. I do appreciate feedback as well. If you have any questions about the process I went through today, please feel free to ask and I will answer you as best I can. I would encourage you to also to continue to watch my daily vlog. I call it a daily vlog, although it's not necessarily every day. And you will continue to see my process as I change my hair. All right guys, well have a lovely day. I love you all, goodbye.